In this TA Tech Tip, I'm going to show you how to set up and analyze Sapphire calibration data for modulated DSC in a Discovery DSC system. To collect and analyze the calibration data files for uh, Sapphire on a modulated DSC experiment, you first need to select the calibration button. It will bring you to a calibration data set here. You do need to make sure that you have your T0 calibration, cell constant, and temperature calibrations already completed before you can run your reversing heat capacity calibration. When you want to select a new calibration, select new. You will be prompted to select a particular calibration material. In this case, we're going to choose Sapphire. You can enter in operator and project names, but the, the key is that you need to make sure that your Sapphire pan location in your sam out of sampler tray is, is correct. So in this case, sample position three. You also need to make sure that your sapphire sample mass is correct as well. Make sure that you choose the correct reference pan, in this case, T0 aluminum in selection spot number two with a pan mass of about 53.9 milligrams. You can enter in your sample pan mass you also need to select the appropriate modulating conditions for this experiment. In this case, you can see that we're going to modulate an amplitude of plus or minus one degrees every 100 seconds with a ramp rate of about two degrees C per minute. You also want to make sure that your upper and lower temperature range is, is correct as well. You would like to bracket the, these temperatures around the sample experiment that you intend to run. In this case, we'll calibrate from minus 90 to 400. When we have this information select correctly, we can then press the run queue, run button to put it into the running queue and run automatically, or throw it into the design queue so that we can manipulate it further, or we can press running queue button where we were prompted to be put into the running queue. Once into the running queue, we see that everything is correct we can say start experiment. Once the experiment is complete, we can then should be able to see this in the results pane. If not, we can then open these results manually. Once we open the results manually, we see our data set here. If we select that item, the calibrate button will become active and the heat capacity item will become active. Once we select that, the analysis is actually done automatically if the information here looks correct, we can then say save and apply, and the information will be passed over into our reversing heat capacity calibration window, and we'll have an item to use. Once in this window, we can then verify the calibration is correct, and uh, we're ready to run uh, modulated experiments to correct, collect heat capacity on our samples.